This is the Bass Pro Shops Top Water Only Budget Fishing Challenge. Me, Tara, and my boy Connor are gonna go in Bass Pro Shops and we each have to pick out three top water baits. Once we buy all our tackle, we're gonna hop into separate cars and hit as many ponds as we can to catch the fish we need. Whoever catches a fish on each of the three top water baits wins the challenge. All right, boys and girls, we are inside of Bass Pro Shops now. So this is how this is gonna work. I need three top water baits. Your girl Tara needs three top water baits. And your boy Connor needs three top water baits. <laughs> how this is gonna work is the boy Connor is gonna go first. How this is gonna work is the boy Connor is gonna go first. So Connor, you're first up. You got five minutes. Three top water baits, you think you can do it? Before we get deeper into this video, only 27% of y'all watching these videos are actually subscribed. So if you could take the time, hit the subscribe button, it really helps the channel. I'd appreciate it. What do you think about that? What do you think about this? What do we think about all this? It's looking a little spicy. Connor's Mr. Buzzbait Master. Ooh. All right, not gonna lie. Never throw one of these with the holes in the blade. Not sure how that actually works, but Looks like a good bait, so bait number one for me. Let's keep going. All right, we got our first bait. We need to uh, we need to pick out a second one. I'm thinking I'm thinking something like a whopper plopper. So let's check these out. Um, what color wise we got too many options. I don't I don't know where to go here. But I will say this one here is something that I've thrown a lot in the past and I've had a lot of good luck on it. So we're actually gonna take that as our second lure. Seriously, why are you feeling me, dude? What's going on? <laughs> I feel like you should get something different, Connor. Something kind of out of the ordinary that, that we really haven't fished with the channel. You know what I mean? Okay. So this head-on brand makes a lot of weird stuff, but I will, I don't know. What do you think about something like like that? Like these just look cool. They have like really cool patterns. They, they do have a prop on the back. I just don't, I don't know how they fish. The only thing that I could tell you about with this brand is the spook. I mean, they make the original super spook, but I've never, never tried one of those. I mean, you can go with that, man. So one thing is, I would love to throw a spook, but I'm fishing fluoro, so that's gonna be tough. Let, let's, um, let's take a look at some of these. Okay, these are gonna be a little easier to fish than like a spook. I feel like white is always a good go-to in the middle of the day for top water. If it was late, I'd go for something dark, but that actually looks like a pretty good bait right there. Devil source? You fish it's a nice those? little prop bait. Yeah, it's on the river, man. Okay. That's, that's a little river special. So I All guess right. we'll see. That's something I haven't used on the channel, but let me see what you got, man. All right, we're, we're loaded up. Buzz bait, plopper, prop bait. I like it, man. Good go. All right, boys, we're going to the cool fun section because I know these, these boys and girls behind the camera, they ain't going to pick nothing out like this. So look at this. We got the frog wall, okay? You guys know one of my favorite baits ever is a frog, but we're going to get a little crazy with it. So the first things first, is I want to get a pop and pickle, but I just don't know if they have it. So we got some regular KVD sexy frogs here. We got some of the Bass Pro brand, which I've used before, just regular top and frog. I really don't want to go with a standard frog, okay? I'm not gonna be fishing pads or any thick vegetation, so I kinda wanna go with more of a pop and frog. So if I can find the, oh baby, look at it up there. You you guys already know, listen, we gotta go with the pop and pickle. This is a premium bait, something we've been fishing on the channel for years, and this is probably my favorite topwater bait of all time. So that's definitely bait number one, pop and pickle. We're gonna go to the treble hook section. I'm thinking about something, maybe a whopper plopper, but then again, Connor picked out one, so we might go with something that's a little bit different. So one thing that Connor didn't pick out, and I have no idea why, because it's a bait that just catches a lot of fish, is a regular standard popper. So we have a couple different options here. Got some of the Berkeley ones, got some Booyah ones, got some Rebel ones. We got the Strike King poppers. As you guys know, primarily Strike King guy. We're gonna go with, I think that one right there. It's got a little bit of chrome on the bottom. It's actually a sunny day today. I think that's gonna be the key. I'm gonna throw a curveball on these two. <laughs> I'm gonna throw a little curveball on y'all. You guys are gonna be like, I don't even know what you're thinking. So to win this challenge, boys, we're just gonna have three different top water baits. First person to catch a fish on each of the three baits wins the challenge. And you guys are gonna be thinking I'm a fool. All y'all watching and y'all, okay? But I'm gonna kick y'all's butt on it because we have some experience with this puppy. Hear me out, okay? Oh no, yes, what are you sir. doing, dude? Listen, I'm going with a rat. What do you What do you think, bro? I think that's We fair. gotta spice it up, guys. And I think this thing's gonna catch a monster today. You guys better be embarrassed if I end up whipping y'all on the rat. And listen, we had a lot of luck with it a couple weeks ago. 
So I'm gonna push the boundaries, man. We're going with a rat. So this is what we got. Life target rat, little popper, little go-to. Hot and pickle, baby. Now that I got my baits, Connor got his baits. Tara, it's your turn. Whatever you want, three baits. Timer it's gonna starts be now. better than your baits and Connor's baits. She's lying, dude. She's lying, bro. <laughs> She's already gonna go with one of these, bro. You know why? She cut her PB I on. I caught my PB on. <laughs> she got her PB on. And you are right. You are right. I am going for that. This one's pretty good, and this one's pretty good, too. Do I trust you? We're going against each other. Do you know. trust them? Do you trust me? Should you trust me? Depends on the day. Definitely not. Depends on what it is. <laughs> Wait, is this the same one? Is this the same? No. They're a little different. They're a little different. Let's, let's go with this one. I actually like Ooh. that. I like that one too. There you go. Of purple action. Okay, so that's your first, right, first bait. First one, got it, let's go. So what is another bait that you've had a lot of confidence in? This is why I didn't pick it. The Whopper Whopper. Let's do it. Tara's uh, copying wait. me, what are you doing? I already know, I already know. Definitely, um, I love the white. I already know what I'm going for. I already knew what I wanted. That's actually a different Whopper Whopper. So Connor got, it's okay. like the standard size. This one's actually a small Whopper, which I've never fished with. If you guys have fished with this, let us know what luck you've had, but you could catch a big thinking, one on that. I'm kind of thinking, I don't, kind of thinking, I don't even need a big one today. I just need three fish to beat you guys. Honestly, she has a strategy. So I think matter. we're stupid, Connor. <laughs> She's going with the easy mode, you know, to catch the three fish. I went and picked out a rat, which is probably the... Well, you I said it, I didn't. I'm but... hey, listen, I'm catching a fish on that rat today, boys. All right, my last one. I'm going to go with the chug bug. I actually have never fished with a chug bug before, but it's similar to the plopper. Popper. So, popper. <laughs> popper, plopper. It's the plopper, 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 plopper <laughs> chug bug. This is a bait that we used to crush them on. And uh, I think you've thrown this in the past. I just don't know you if you remember. It? It's very similar to a popper. It's got a longer. I got bad memory. It's got a longer body, different presentation. I think it's a good bait. Yeah. You said to work it just around like. Yeah, this very, like that. very similar. Yeah. It's gonna have more of an aggressive splash though. That's one thing to think about. If you want to look at them, these are the winning baits today. So take a good look. I don't know about that. And the winner. Is that, are those the winning baits? Those aren't the winning baits. There's the rat. Listen, the, the rat, bro. All right, boys. We all got our baits. I got three baits. Tara got three baits. The boy Connor got three baits. Let's go ahead and get out to our location. We're going to split up in three different cars and get to fishing. All right, boys and girls, we are at the spot. The challenge is about to start. Connor's going to be in his car. Your boy Noah's going to be in his car. And Tara, we're just going to drop her off Tara's at like some walking. random spot. Yeah, she's just going to walk to wherever. So I got to go drop her off. But the challenge is to catch a fish on each of the three baits. The first person to catch a fish on every bait wins the challenge and the challenge starts now all right boys we gotta get come on girl all right tara I'm you ready than you. i gotta drop tara I'm off ready. guys she doesn't have her car so i'm just gonna go drop her off <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, connor is gone <laughs> our first spot is we gotta drop tara off and then after that i'm gonna give you guys a little rundown of where we're gonna go hit all right girl I will smell you later. <laughs> see ya. Peace. Bye. Bye. See you, loser. See ya, man. All right, boys and girls, we are about to go beat Noah and Connor. So I actually changed my game plan when I was driving over here to drop Tara off. I don't want to go too far from where I'm at now. I have a spot in mind that I can go hit, and uh, I think we can possibly go ahead and pop off the popper fish out of the challenge. So we're gonna drive to a spot that's pretty close to here. These are my three baits. We got the Whopper Plopper, the Copper, and the Chug Bug. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the Whopper Plopper. Let's get this puppy tied up. All right, first things first, we need to look at our baits real quick. So just to kind of go over what we got, we got the Pop and Pickle, we got the rat, which these are two sick baits, which I'm excited about. Those bites are going to be insane, so make sure you guys wait for that. But we also have this popper. I want to go ahead and tie this on just to knock it out because these baits might take us a minute and we might be on a time crunch because they could possibly smoke them. First things first, we have to spool up our braid through our eyelids. So let's go ahead and do that. By the way, I'm going to pair this up on my Kicking Their Bass TV X Loose combo. If you guys want to check any of them out, they're available on kickingtheirbass.com. I have them linked down below. I appreciate anybody and everybody 
supports me and the brand. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived at our first location. I am tying up in the car, which I can explain that later, but um, we gotta pick a bait. I'm not really sure what to go with. I think going with the Whopper Plopper is gonna be our best option. I feel like putting this on first will kind of just give us that momentum we need to, to get onto the other baits there. We tie this thing up with a little uni knot, cinch that thing tight. And I will catch you guys at the pond. All right, boys. Well, this is the spot that we're gonna start off with. Got this little striking popper. Caught a bunch of good fish on it this year. And this pond, I haven't caught a ton of fish in, but I've had a good bit of bites. And I actually caught a really good one on a top water around springtime. So I wanted to come back here and kind of try it out. I was actually going by this place. I'm like, why not come out here and give it a shot before we go out to the other spot that we were thinking about looks so good on that other side boys it's really shady i'm actually going to start to work around this side because this whole side of the bank is just covered with shade that's probably where we need to be on a hot summer day <gasps> one just hit me dude he just like nibbled at it what was that it was literally like a little nibble. Like he just came up and kissed it. Might've been like a small bluegill or something. <laughs> I'll tell you that account though. Any fish that we catch on this counts. Ooh, that sucks. We got a tree. Yeah, of course, man. How are you? What's up, buddy? How are you? Can you say, hey? What's your name? Shaw. Shaw, how are you? Good. Nice to meet yeah, you. Man, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Give me that. Give me no, that. I'm gonna take a picture <laughs> of the thing. Okay, all right, all right just, just smile. Smile, buddy. Nice meeting yes, you guys. Nice to meet you. Thank you all. Yeah. All right, boys. Well, we caught a stick. That is not what we're looking for, but that's a start, right? If we can get a stick to bite. I think we can get a fish to bite. <laughs> oh man, just met a couple supporters of the channel it's always awesome when i see you guys in public i really appreciate all y'all that watch the videos it means a lot to me i want to be where i'm at today without y'all all right guys well you missed my uh first 15 minutes of my exciting adventure i was apparently taking photos with the gopro instead of recording so that's awesome but we have made it out to our first location it's probably gonna be a little difficult for me to work the edges how i want but i can kind of throw it in the middle bring it close to these edges and maybe we'll get lucky here Ooh, big boil big boil on the bank right there oh my gosh i just got slammed the second that bait hit the water he ate it come on oh my gosh are you kidding me guys i have a stick attached to my bait and he's hitting it Oh my gosh, he just punched the bait out of the air. Oh, this looks nice. Look at that pretty color on there. It's not gonna be easy to catch a fish on top water today, but I'm gonna do it. My biggest thing today too is staying patient, working it slow. I, however, love the patroller. They do not have those at Bass Pro. I wish they did. I was sad, I was looking for it. I get right in that corner. Oh, dude, that looks so good. There we go, boys. There we go. We're on. This is a big one, too. I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's a nice one. Come on, baby. I'm just coasting them in. Coasting them in. Coasting them in. Come on now. Come on now. Oh, my gosh. This is a nice one. Let's go. There we go, boys. First fish of the day. And we got our first lure complete. We worked that thing pretty slow back in that pocket. And I'll tell you, I think that was the right move. You know, shady pocket. It's got a couple pipes back there. We threw it up there. We weren't working it too fast. Uh, I will say once I gave it an aggressive pop, that fish just came up and ate it. A good two and a half pounder, really thick and healthy fish. And that is a way to start the video. One lure down, boys. All right, baby. Thank you for biting. Oh, that's amazing, guys. <laughs> that is amazing. There she goes. <laughs> Let's get on to the next spot and try to throw this frog. So this next spot that we're gonna go to 
is actually a drain pond that we fished in the past. And I think I might be able to get one on that pop and pickle. So we're gonna head out there. We got a little drive and uh, get to fishing. Maybe we can get us a dang big one on that frog. We had to run back to the other side of the pond. We had some golfers coming out. Definitely not fishing on a golf course. And if I was, I'm doing it completely legally. I got a strategy here. I cut off the old whopper plopper and tied this on. I'm struggling. So these fish are smoking it, but the only problem is they're stacked up under this like grass and like this is the only bait that I can throw that I can even get it close to those edges. So we tied that on. We are going to leave this guy to the side and we're gonna get back in there. Get it right up to those edges. Oh, this is gonna get ruined in here. I can feel it already. I got him, I got him. Get in here, baby. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, okay. You just chill out for me one second. Yes, sir. Boom. Look at that, boys. That is what I'm talking about. Guess all it took was taking that one bait off and was able to get that bait right up on that bank and he smoked it. So thank you, buddy. There he goes. All right, so we pretty much finished the popper. We are done with that bait and we have two more baits. So we got the pop and pickle and we got the rat. You guys better stay tuned till the end of the video because I have something crazy planned for this rat and it's probably gonna blow y'all's mind. So stay tuned for that. I'm saving that for last. I'm gonna tie on this pop and pickle here and get to work. I'll show you guys what pond we're at once we get down there. And we're gonna tie this pop and pickle on just with a standard uni knot. All right, we are good to go. All right, boys, so this is the pond that we're at. This is actually a pond that was drained a few months ago and it actually looks a lot different. The water is actually higher than it was before too. There was actually a whole sandbar right here that was out of the water. We're gonna start throwing around here. I've actually had a lot of luck in the past on frogs. So we might be able to pluck one out of here, especially in this little shade line. Oh, there's a bass chasing bait. There's literally a bass chasing bait. Oh my gosh. Boys, I literally saw them right there. I literally, literally saw them. Oh, come on now. Please hit the pop and pickle, dude. So there's a bunch of bait fish that are up here on this little tiny like sandy flat. And that bass came out of nowhere and just started eating them. Dude, come on now. You don't want those little bait fish. You want a big old pop and pickle now. Come on, Sonny D. That was actually a good little fish, man. It looked like about a two and a half. Looked about the size of that last one. That was crazy, man. <laughs> Dude, I thought I thought we were gonna throw in there and he was just gonna eat it right away. That would have been insane. I guess that's a good sign though. See some activity, fish chasing bait. That's always what you wanna see. Maybe this bass would be angry and just come out of nowhere and eat this thing. Just comparing this pop and pickle to the bait that he's eating. Dude, it's like five times the size. All right guys, we gotta be pretty quick here. Gotta tie this other bait on before these golfers get back out and maybe we can keep this momentum moving and get on to our, our third bait. So I'm gonna go with this one, I, I actually have no idea how these things swim. I've never fished one. Now, this bait does have treble hooks, just like the Whopper Plopper. So it's definitely gonna be a little more difficult than, than throwing that buzz bait, but who knows? This thing could give off a completely different action than anything these fish have ever seen. So in turn, that might mean we'll get a bite pretty quick. Let's go and find out. These ponds are a bust. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing? Not a nibble? Nothing. Really? Okay. Nothing. Well, let's take you to a different Trash. pond because I'm about to go somewhere else. I've caught one fish. Connor's probably already caught all his fish by now, but uh, I don't I know. I still time, I have time to beat you. All right. Well, I will be your Uber driver for the day and take you to a new pond. You're always my Uber driver. Well, you're not wrong. All right, you guys. Noah just dropped me off at another pond. You got the popper on. You know I love this popper because I caught my PB on it. Oh, he's swimming with it. He's swimming with it. Oh my gosh. 
These ones are fast. What in the world? Oh, what am I hung up? Ah. Oh. It got like stuck on a tree on the bottom. Oh my, no. Oh, that was my fish, you guys. Oh, that was so weird. Oh my gosh. Across the entire pond, he just hit that. All right, boys, we haven't gave the pop popping pickle too much time. But I'm at a spot where I plan on smacking a crazy fish on this rat. So we're gonna go ahead and tie it up. We'll go back to the pop and pickle after this. But I'm telling you, if we can pull off what we're about to do, you guys are about to see some insanity. I'll tell you that right now. There's our little rat. Let's tie it on. All right, guys, little update here. This bait, this bait sucks. Oh my gosh, are you kidding? He came off. All right, maybe the strategy is just the uh, the slow retrieve. We'll try it. Just gonna throw that thing out there, retrieve it nice and slow, and it looks horrible. Good. <laughs> Boys and girls, welcome to the swamp. This is the swamp bridge that we fished in one of the recent episodes. It's got some really big mud fish in here that might want to eat one. <laughs> this little rat here. Or it can even have some big bass or gar or anything that really would want to eat this. I doubt a gar is going to eat it, but a mudfish or a bass, I think would smack this rat. Oh, there's a gar right there, dude. Watch this. Look, there's a gar right there. Does he not see it? Oh, he's turning. He's turning. Just imagine I catch a gar on this rat. Just imagine. Can you guys see that? He's turning his nose. He's right on it. Oh, he's behind it. He's right under it. Oh, dude, he had it. He freaking had it, bro. Oh, we know he bit my tail off. Wait. Did he? No, he didn't. Thank God. He just has a smaller tail. Okay. That was crazy, boys. I love how I'm walking up and I'm like, a gar won't eat this. And I literally see a gar right away and he tries to eat it. No, 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 oh, what was I doing? I even saw them ripple, I knew it was coming. Oh my gosh, they're exploding everywhere. Come on, fish. I don't, I don't see them, which is crazy because I'm standing on this bridge and there's kids screaming Bloody Mary in the woods back there somewhere. I don't know, I don't know if I should be concerned. Oh, there's a gar. There's a gar behind me. Oh, he's about to eat it. Come on, baby. Oh, he's right under it, boys. He's right under my, my freaking rat. Please eat it, baby. He's sniffing it. I know you want that little rat tail. Come on now. I'm telling you, to catch one of these gar, we're going to have to hook set so hard. He's following it here. I'm going to throw it right back in there. Right above his head. Come on, baby. Oh, here he comes. Oh, this is crazy. Come on. Oh, he just doesn't want it. Oh, he's behind it. He's behind it. It might. That was a little fast, in my opinion, for a gar. Oh, dude, he's still tailing it. I can't see anything here. Oh, he's on it. Oh, dude. Oh. Hold on. Dude, that was an insane boil right there. Oh, I just wish he would have blew up on it. Oh, whew. Connor, cut that out. What was that? Mother freaker. Oh my gosh, that had to have been like, no way that was bad. Oh my gosh, that was a crazy eat. That was a crazy eat. Get up here. Woo! There we go. Oh my gosh. What a eat by that fish. Holy cow. Let's take this guy off the hook. This fish are nice and aggressive. Well, there we go. That is our second fish. The bait was uh, really testing my patience, but I guess we kind of figured it out. Just straight retrieve. But there we go. She dude. Oh, 
Oh no! All the way up under the bridge, boys. I had to have been a gar. See, if it was a mudfish, would have been a different story. He would have exploded on that. Well, guys, I really wanted to try this, but we're just gonna have to keep on moving. I thought I could pull it off. That doesn't mean we can't catch one somewhere else on a rat, though. Oh, I got one. It's deep. Oh, yes. Oh, this feels so good. I don't care what size you are. Give it to me. Give it to me. Oh my gosh. We're on the board. We're on the board. Yes, we're on the board. Oh, buddy. You might not be big, but I am so excited. Oh, that felt so good. Yes. Of course, the GoPro died on that release. <laughs> we are at a new spot and I still have the rat on. I was wanting to throw the pop and pickle here. I was like, I might as well just throw the rat because there's a pipe right here in this corner and I'm gonna try to skip this rat in here and catch one of these big old bass, man. I've thrown a pop and pickle up in this pipe before and caught a five and a half pounder. So there's no telling what we could get to eat this rat. And that goose needs to be quiet, man. He's just barking his head off over there. Here we go. Seems like a natural presentation. Old rat coming out of the sewer. Oh, we are all the way in there. I'm telling you, if we get a bite, it's going to echo. Oh my lord. That is the most annoying goose in history. I swear. It's that bad. Oh yeah. Boys, I was hoping to get an explosion in there. It did not happen, but that is okay. I'll just keep casting around here. Some big fish in this pond. Come on, rat. Get cranked for me, baby. Looks so appetizing. If I was a fish, I'd definitely be eating this thing. It's almost a little too subtle for me, man. Like the presentation's so clean, but it's just a little quiet. All right, we're gonna keep moving. We are tying on this guy one more time. Just a nice little uni knot. These fish are going crazy. And that last one I actually caught it like right out in the middle. So, I don't know. Maybe they'll eat this thing, maybe not. Let's go find out. I'm feeling a little bit more confident with it just because out of all the baits I've thrown in here, I had by far the most hits on this one. So I'm thinking kind of toss this thing around Hopefully we can get one. If not, we might have to jump to another spot, but we'll see here in a minute. All right, boys, traveling to our next spot. Ooh. Look at that little boil right there. Look at how good this looks. A little shade line right there. Come on, fishy. So boys, I came out to this pond because there's usually a lot of slop on the water. And all the grass is gone, which is pretty surprising because about a month ago I came out here and there was so much grass. There was like so much film on top of the water. That was just not the case today, but I still think we could get some bites in here. <clears throat> I saw a fish swim off right out here. It's actually a really shallow flat, super shallow right here. And these fish are hanging off the bank. I like never really go anywhere to throw a frog off the bank. But if there's a place that we'll get a bite, it's probably this one. Oh, we got a turtle chasing the frog, boys. He's chasing it. Oh my God. Oh, there we go. There we go, boys. Oh, it's a nice one too. That's a freaking nice one. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Let's go. Let's freaking go. He choked that frog. Dude, I literally had a turtle chasing my frog and I started to reel it in 
and he literally hammered it and that is a nice close to two pounder right there choked that popping pickle and we are on to our third and final bait let's go baby thank you for biting buddy i cannot believe that guys i literally had a turtle chasing it <laughs> and he came out of nowhere and just freaking slammed it that is amazing all right boys well we are kind of far away from the car but we got to go back and tie on this rat Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that was an insane eat. What the heck? Get on the bank. Oh, it's a mudfish? Oh my gosh. That was a crazy eat. Look at there, boys. Fish number three against a big old mudfish. Let's get this guy back in the water. Thank you, buddy. 